Hey, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. We're about to enter the big studio at 1570 Oak, number 714. As you walk into the living room, the first thing you notice are the windows, which are facing north and let in a lot of light. This uh, unit also has laminated hardwood floors, which are in really good shape, rather than the standard carpet. If we look to the right, we see a big closet, a walk-in closet in the bath. And as I walk into the apartment, as I and walk over to the windows, you can see the view is of downtown Evanston. So you're facing north, but you still get a ton of light because you're above the surrounding buildings. We're on the seventh floor here. As I pan across, you can see the radiators. Now, people have just moved out, so we haven't painted or cleaned. Another shot of the living room with the big closet to the left. You can see the door we came in on. And as we walk towards this closet, if I pan around, you can get your first real look at the dining area, which is about an eight by 10 area. There is a ceiling fan. The windows continue to face north, but be very bright. So you can see those windows there. And as we walk into the dining area, I'll walk toward the window. Again, you can see downtown Evanston. If I rotate around, we can see into the kitchen. There's a couple of built-ins, shelves and some storage underneath. I'll open up one of the storage areas and you can see there are shelves underneath and there's two of those. As we walk into the kitchen, it's a smaller kitchen, but the stove is new, the countertops, stainless steel sink, all relatively new, and cabinets above and below. The fridge also looks new, and we take a look at the freezer and the shelves, which are squeaky clean. And underneath, we see some keys. We keep them on ice until we've really got the apartment ready. And more refrigerator. The stove is also really one of the nicer stoves I've seen in the building. It's a full-size stove. Uh, and I think it's one year old, maybe two years old. But again, it is squeaky clean. So you can see that uh, Oh, maybe you need to touch it up a little on the cleaning, but it's a nice big stove. Big enough for any size pizza, Thanksgiving turkey, whatever you have. So you can see the shelves underneath, the stainless steel sink with the spray nozzle. This is a laminate rather than a rock countertop, but it's nice and clean. Newer, nice and clean. The cabinets above, also newer very clean, very usable. Let's see what it looks like below the kitchen sink. So there we have it. Looks like it needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but it's dry. And I'll run the water to show you that it's completely dry. We just need to clean it up. And that's what we will do. We need to clean the uh, sink a little bit. And again, people have just moved out. They were good tenants because they left this pretty clean. But there's still a little bit we need to do. A couple of drawers. More cabinets below. Whoops, a daisy. And you can see those are nice and clean as well. So as we turn around, we get a better shot at the dining area which, like I say, is about an 8 by 10 area. I think the living room, if I recall, is 16 by 13 and a half, almost maybe 13, 8 inches. So I'll give you a little pan of that. As I walk towards the, uh, across the living room and towards the big closet, you can see that there are two shelves, a hanging bar, and the laminated hardwood floors. Then to the right, there's two more shelves and uh, a bar. Now the bar to the right is about three feet. The bar in front is about four feet. 
The whole apartment needs to be painted, so don't let that scare you. We know that, and we will be painting. Okay, so it's hard to get good camera work when the whole apartment is white. We'll walk, this is the bath, a pedestal sink, a commode, tile floors. The tub is clean, but the tiles need some work. So what we've done in the past is to reglaze the tiles. And what we'll do again is to uh, uh, seal them, make sure they're sealed, and uh, paint, paint them with a special paint white. We want to test the water pressure, which I'm sure is good, but let's just take a look. So that's the hot water. And there we go, we've got good water pressure. The only thing I'd say here, wow, that's noisy. Oh, ouch. The uh, only thing I'd mention here is that the uh, shower itself is only about six feet in the air, so it's a little bit lower. We have the sink with two diverters rather than one single hot and cold. Three shelves in the medicine cabinet, again clean, very easy to use. Standard toilet, outlet, fixture for light. Another look at the uh, closet. Go back out. Give me one more look at the living room and dining area. I'll walk towards the windows. Now, the street that's north is Davis. So we're just south of Davis Street. And I'll wheel around to the front. The rent is 1090, I'm sorry, 1045 and includes all utilities, heat, water, electric, and cooking gas. And right now we have an incentive of one month free. So I hope that uh, helps. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.